affliction of my people, not just the people or the nation of Israel. He referred to us as his people. We are the children of the Lord. We are his portion out of all the families of the earth. Go ahead on the read. And I come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto, the good, unto a good land and a large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. He came to give us a land of all of the children of Ham. All of these names that he just read belong to the children of Ham. And we got that land as a possession. I guess that's why the world want to label us Africans. But we are not Africans. We are Semitic. We're Israelites that come out of the children of Jacob that live in the children of Ham's land. Continue to read at verse 9. Now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is coming to me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now he's sending Moses to go to the ruler of Israel to tell him to let my people go. Into Egypt to tell him to let my people go. Now, we came down into Egypt the first place because the Lord appeared to our father and told him to fear not about going down there, right? Other than that, we would have still been in our homeland in the land of Canaan. But the Lord told our father, fear not to go down into Egypt. I will be there with you. Now that I didn't sent you down here and I'm making you a nation here and I'm trying you with this servitude in this period of 400 years and I've heard your cry and it's to come up unto me, you have been thoroughly humbled. Now, I'm getting ready to come and bring you back unto myself. I sent you there. I'm going to bring you back. He sent us here, and he will bring us back. You don't have to worry about getting yourself back home or how you're going to get there. Realize how you got here in the first place. It was the hand of the Lord that brought you here, and it's the hand of the Lord that's going to deliver you. Woe unto the man who put his trust in man and make it flesh his arm. You ain't got to depend on no man to deliver you be it one of our own activists or civic leaders or either the president of this country or another country. They didn't bring us here. They can't take us out of it. The Lord brought us here. It's the Lord who is going to deliver us. Only thing you got to do to know what's going to happen tomorrow is understand what happened yesterday. The Lord sent us down to Egypt, and the Lord said, I'm going to send you Moses to go down there and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. I'm getting ready to bring them out. So now the Lord brought 10 plagues on Egypt before Pharaoh was convinced to let us go. And after he brought that last plague on Pharaoh, right before he did this, this is what he told Israel to do. Let's skip over to the 11th chapter of Exodus. Exodus chapter 11. Because we've been slaves in Egypt for 400 years. We have spent a total of 430 years in Egypt. 30 years as free people, 400 years as slaves. No work, no pay, no money. Just like we are now. <laughs> we work, we get paid, but we still ain't got no money. Because the money that we got don't belong to us. As soon as we think we got a little something accumulated, they find a way to take it from us. Because it belongs to them. We are actually operating by permission. And we don't know it. We don't realize it. We think that we have done something, and we haven't done anything. The Lord is still directing this show. Exodus 11, we're going to start reading at verse 1. All right, my brother, go ahead. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence to all together. Because that last plague that the Lord is going to bring on Egypt is death. And death is something to get everybody's attention. I don't care who you are, what race, nationality you are. I don't care how bad you think you are. Death gets everybody's attention. 
and the Lord brought the last plague on Egypt, which was death. And when I started killing these people, and they don't realize why they dying, because they're not getting shot, they're not getting beat up, or nothing like that. They just dying what they call mysteriously, and they know it's because of y'all, they're going to get rid of you guys altogether. <laughs> Continue in verse 2. Speak now in the ears of the people, and let every man borrow of his neighbor, and every woman of her neighbor, Jewels of silver and jewels of gold. Go ahead. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, and in the sight of the people. So Moses rose to be 